In the previous video, we got the network rack set up where we need it, which by the way, was provided by Infinite Cables, who is also the sponsor for this video here. And now that I've got the network rack where I think I want it, we also need to basically reconfigure the whole lab and the entire network infrastructure as we transition from Unify over to Amata. And thankfully, Infinite Cables also sent over a bunch of stuff to help me with that transition. Now, most of this is mainly for the server rack, but we've got some new 25 foot cable that we're gonna run underneath the floorboards. Uh, that's important so we can get networking from the wall to the network rack. All sorts of new patch panel or patch cables for our future patch panel. I uh, went with like a grayish color to try and match a mod as best I can. And then they also sent us a patch panel, a blank patch panel and a bunch of uh, keystones. So that's gonna be awesome. So Infinite Cable really hooked us up uh, for this video, which is gonna be great. And we'll get more into details about all this later on. But for now, let's go ahead and start getting the whole lab broken down, I guess. Or maybe the whole, not broken down, we just gotta start doing things. So this bottom cable right here goes all the way back to the network closet and it doesn't stay in here very well. It literally just pops in and out. So I figured, what the heck, why not ask Infinite Cables for a new 25 foot cable? And what's really neat about this one is it's super thin, so it'll be very easy to get underneath the baseboard as we run it around all the way over to where the server rack is. And obviously it should be plenty of long for this room. So I guess we should just get this replaced. And I think that means we're actually gonna end up tearing all these other ones out of the ground as well. Or ground, I'd put them underneath the baseboards as well. Normally when the heads on these things go bad, I just end up recycling the cables because I don't really know what else to do with them. Like both ends of this cable are broken. Now I could, I guess, remake the ends on my own because I have the equipment, but it's honestly not really worth it. It's like a slinky. Wow. All right, I'm gonna put in this Cat6 A cable first. Um, and that way these cables We'll go and lash just in case I decide to rearrange the room. They're probably not gonna be used anytime soon, but whatever. It's nice to know that I have options. Why'd I go with yellow, you're probably wondering? No particular reason. Uh, I just went with yellow because it's distinct. And um, yeah, that's really it. It is my official test cable, test network, or Amada network, Amada yellow. So we got our cable run now, but we kind of need to figure out where everything else is gonna go. Um, like where I'm gonna put the, the, the patch panel and other equipment. And also where to even run the cables from. Like, I don't know if I should come from the bottom or if I should go from the top. Um, shoot. This is gonna be fun to try and figure out. It actually looks like we can go from the back. Maybe we'll try and go from the back. Hopefully we can just squeeze the network cable through this hole. I think we're ready to put in our blank patch panel. Um, again, Infinite Cable sent this over. Uh, this which is the first time I'm opening it, so we'll see what it's like. I'm sure it's just like all the other ones in terms of quality. Yeah, it's all aluminum with plastic inserts or whatever, whatever you call these. I'm gonna call them inserts. It's good enough, let's get it, bro. Let's get it mounted. So we're gonna put the PDU up here. All the electrical cables are gonna go around the back and over. That'll make it look really clean. 
Normally I don't put electrical close to my patch panels, but I think in this one case, I'm gonna make an exception. Uh, I honestly don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal to do. This cable goes all the way back to the server closet, like I mentioned earlier, and now it'll be plugged in back on the rear, and eventually this will be nice and clean. All right, we're putting our 10 gig TP-Link switch right here. So this is the SX320. 26 HP. This thing will be silent AF as it operates in this room. We'll be using an SF module. This is 10 gig capable. So SFP plus to ethernet. Be putting that there. So this will be our uplink back to the server room. We Now that we got our switch in place, we need to run a cable down from the switch to my little work area just behind the camera. Uh, so that way if I do any 10 gig tests, or any kind of networking in general, I will always have a connection now. <laughs> I am using another 25 foot cable, and that's because sometimes I'll need to have equipment here or over here, or just anywhere else. So it's just nice to have a nice long cable uh, that I can drag around the room as needed. Uh, that's worked out pretty well for me in the past. Uh, the cable that we removed, that one was 50 feet, so I was able to pretty much, I'm oh, sorry, that one was also 25 feet. So, um, once I got it, ran all the way around, I was pretty much able to work all in this area and on that side. So, grab another 25 foot one, just so we have plenty of room now, especially since the cable's much closer on that end, uh, to maneuver around the room. Let's get this one run and uh, hooked up to something, I guess. All right, got that yellow cable run back behind the shelf, and it kind of just falls out over here. And, uh, here it is. So normally what I like to do is in this enclosure here, so there's a 10 gig card in here. I'll uh, connect this up to do my 10 gig tests. And this is a newer laptop that I use also for 10 gig testing. Uh, previously, I would use either the MacBook or the gaming computer, but I'm tired of messing with my gaming computer and unplugging and plugging things in. The MacBook works, but usually I'll be working on the Mac, so uh, doing tests with that kind of sucks. So I have like a dedicated computer that has really fast NVMe and also I can plug in external uh, devices, whether they be graphics cards or a 10 gig NIC in this case. And I can do my 10 gig testing like this and it all works out. In retrospective, the patch cables that ask infinite cables to send might be a little too long. These are their, uh, it doesn't say the length on here, whatever. These are pretty long. Um, I meant to ask for the, like shortest ones I have. Uh, so I think I made a mistake there. It'll still look good nonetheless, I think. Um, we'll just have to, <laughs> that's a little too long. I, we'll just have to do a little bit of looping and swooping to clean that up. That'll look fine like this, I think. Oh God. Right, so my mistake, yeah, I definitely ordered way too long ones. So I've made something that's pretty ugly. I mean, wait, pretty nice looking. Now it's pretty ugly. So good job being there. I'm gonna have to fix this up later, maybe get some shorter <laughs> ones in the future. Uh, sorry about that in big cables. I swear I didn't mean to sabotage this. We're getting very close to being done. So this is the ER8411 10 gig router. We need to put this on the other end in the network closet. But first, before we do that, we gotta get ears on it. Uh, so this is gonna be the router. It's gonna be sitting in the network closet and we're gonna be piping 10 gig connectivity all the way from there to here so that way Anytime we want to test an access point or whatever it may be, we have everything we need in this room. No more running extra cables uh, all over the house or doing extra things. We can just do it all in here now. So that'll be really nice to have or be able to do.
This cable right here that's labeled C2 goes all the way up the wall behind here into the patch panel right there. And then from the patch panel, it goes all the way back to the office to the first yellow cable I showed you coming out of the wall. Uh, and then this cable right here, C1, goes all the way directly to the modem. So we have a direct connection to our modem and uh, we will also have a direct connection all the way back to the office. I plan on using this 2.5 gigabit switch uh, in the future. This also has 10 gig, so we'll probably do uh, 10 gig to 10 gig, and then we'll have five gigabit ethernet uh, because that is my home ethernet. Well, actually it's one gigabit now, but we're gonna do five gigabit in the future just for some testing. So uh, this is a 10 gig port. We'll have an uplink port here and everything will be all snazzy once we get all these connected together. Holy cow. For now, I'm just gonna use our router here. So we're gonna put in one SFP module there and then a second one for our LAN. So that'll go there. We'll have 10 gig back to the office and I dropped the other cable. No, I didn't. And then we'll have gigabit ethernet or up to five gigabit ethernet there. Back in the closet it goes. And we are pretty much done. Oh my gosh. So I was like really upset that I ordered, or I thought I ordered the wrong cables because the ones I have up there are too long. Well, it turns out I actually did order uh, short ones and long ones. Um, so we need to get the really long, ugly ones swapped out for these shorter ones. Uh, so, uh, oops. I I'm glad I, I, glad I, did, I found these because I was going to be like so upset about it. I mean, honestly, look, look how terrible that looks. Oh gosh, I'm so glad. <laughs> so, so glad that I found those because now it's going to look so much cleaner. Let's look, look how much of a difference that makes. Just one cable. Oh yeah, that's 10 times better. Heck yes. I'm so glad we found these cables because it really helped clean up the look of the network rack and gave me the aesthetic that I was going for. So having those was quintessential to this entire thing because I can see it through the glass and it would be really nice uh, to have something a lot more clean, especially since it's the office. And now that we're pretty much done with that, we can start moving back on to other videos like setting up the actual network. So we'll have another video in the future where we set up the entire network and I show you guys how I'm gonna go about that process with the network. Uh, we've got access points that we need to talk about. So this is one that TP-Link sent over. We're gonna do some Wi-Fi comparison tests like we have previously in the past. Um, we have other in-wall access points that I also need to do some comparison tests with. We've got lots of videos coming. Uh, we have smart devices that we also need to integrate and create an IoT VLAN for those. So yeah, a lot, there's just a lot of stuff and I don't know how I'm gonna get it all done or maybe I have an idea of how to get it done but the order of which to get it done, if that makes sense. Anyway, I wanna thank you Infinite Cables for sponsoring this video. I very much appreciate it. But most importantly, I also wanna thank each and every single one of you for watching all these videos and making things like this become a reality. Because without all of you, you know who I'm talking about out there too, by the way. Without you guys, this just would not be possible. So with that being all said, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Did I say that too many times?